Hey guys, and welcome to another Quinsight. Do you guys own a laptop and would you like more battery life? Stay tuned for this tip. Okay, okay, I just wanted to have a little bit of a clickbaity opening, although this is a genuine tip. So, my current laptop I've had for about three and a half, four years and lithium batteries degrade about 10 to 15 percent per year depending on how you use them. So degrading battery time uh, once your laptop gets older is normal and since they are now all fully sealed and you can't replace your batteries anymore well that sucks. There's nothing you can really do about that except install some battery conditioning tools and don't keep your battery charged fully at all times. But this video isn't about that. This video is about sometimes you suddenly have a lot less battery runtime than you thought you would have, but you don't know why. I've encountered this issue several times already during the lifetime of this laptop, and it turns out that it's a setting that gets changed in Windows. So I'll open up a screen capture over here and let's run through the settings and what's happening. Okay, you should be able to see the screen over there. Looks good. So when you're in Windows, go to your Start menu and right click and go to Power Options. Okay, there it is. Once you're in Power Options, go to Change Plan Settings. And once you're at this window, go to Change Advanced Power Settings. In that window, we're looking for something called Processor Power Management. There, it'll probably have, but it this difference differs per PC and per Intel chip, Minimum process, Processor State, System Cooling Policy, and Maximum Processor State. If we open minimum processor, processor state, it says on battery 0% and plugged in 5%. What happens to my laptop, and it's either a tool or a Windows update or something with screws of this setting, is that the on battery level gets raised to 100%. That means that your CPU is not going to downclock its clock speed anymore thus will always be in its higher, highest power state. And although this is faster, this is also a lot more power hungry. So make sure that the on battery setting is at 0%. So if we then look at the other settings, system cooling policy, you have on battery, I have it set to passive and plugged in, I have it set to active. What that means is, and if I hover over it, Passive means slow the processor before increasing fan speed. And active means increase fan speed before slowing down the processor. So on battery, I'd like to have a little bit more battery life and I don't want too much noise. But when it's plugged in, it can ramp up the fans all at once and use all the power it has available. Now maximum processor state will mostly be set to 100%. But if you're in a battery critical situation, or you know you need to you get a lot out of your battery, and you have a 4-core laptop like I have, often you can mostly get away with setting your maximum processor state to something like 50%. So that will mean your press processor doesn't ramp up anymore, but you can still use all your cores. It's not the same as running it as a dual core, but it does save a lot of power. So my main tip is if your battery life is suddenly a lot lower than you were expecting it to be, check this minimum pro processor state. For me, sometimes it suddenly flips to 100% and my battery time gets, I think, about halved. Normally I can get about three hours, three hours out of this laptop still, and if it's at 100%, it's only about, I don't know, one and a half, maybe one hour and 20 minutes, so it has a big effect. So. For other battery tips, Linus Tech Tips recently did a good video. I'll have it uh, linked in a card and in the description. 
And if you have any good tips, let me know in the description. And I would really like to know if someone else finds their setting also at 100%. And if we can figure out which tool or which update or whatever is causing this, because it's really hurting the battery life. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.